All right, welcome, welcome. Here we go for another episode of Natural Born Pickers. Today we're out on the road. Gonna take them for a drive around and we're gonna go to three. That's one, two, three dumps. Let's do it, we're on the road today. <laughs> It's a picking time. We're at one of these little dumps out in the country and we're just going over to the scrap metal heap now to have a look. Welcome to the Natural Born Pickers Spa Resort. First we have a massage in the chair. After that we put on a nice mud patch. <laughs> no, I'm not having a mud bath in this. <laughs> Beautiful clubs. You stick your biscuit of loosen, so your hay bales come in little slices when you break it up. You take one of those little slices, sit it in here, they eat it out there and bottom drops in the tub. Good stuff. Throw another shrimp on the barbie, mate. Want another peg basket? Anything catches your eye or does it all look like junk? But you know what they say, one man's junk is someone else's treasure. Oh, look at that. Tractor. Mm, lawn That's tractor. A sprinkler, isn't it? I think so. It's arms here, I think. Mm. That's the bit that's broken. Mm -hmm. So it could, it could be fixed. Hmm. Worth a gamble? Yeah, worth a gamble. That's interesting. What did you find? I spotted a couple of horse feeders or cattle feeders. They hook over the fence. As long as the bottom's still good. Just watch nothing falls down on your head. This one's even better. Nice big one in good condition. Yeah. All right guys, I've got myself a little pile here. I'll see how much he wants for all this, and if it's nice and cheap, I'll throw it in the boot and we'll get going. Oh, look at that, another scavenger. Better get moving, the vultures are circling. Nah, it's not a vulture, it's a red kite. Beautiful big bird of prey. Okay, we're pretty well done here. I only picked up a few items, but that's not too bad. I've got a couple of things there to clean up and someone else will put them to good use if I can pass them on, recycle them, and hopefully get a couple of dollars too. A lot of open areas and farmland out this way in the rural parts that we're going through and we're just about to come to a small town. It's got a little bit more built up, we might stop for some McDonald's, have breakfast and then we'll head on to the next junkyard. What have we got? 
bacon egg McMuffin sausage and egg McMuffin hash browns and a little coffee Again, not a lot at this one, but just a couple of little bargains, a couple of little things we grabbed for ourselves. Done so much. Just take the glass out or maybe even put it in a different frame, but I want that for my garage with the pool table. Big old concrete pot. That's right. Tranquility. Oh. Junk. Love it, we do. The Holman Tractor. Isn't it? Is it any good, Ali? Did we do good? Hey, what do you reckon, Ali? Good pick. Looks like it's got Ali's stamp of approval. I think we did all right. A few things there for me to clean up and um, get them ready. So thanks very much for joining us as we're on the road today. Remember, take time for the simple joys in life and leave us a message in comments, hit the like button and bell for notifications. Thanks guys. See you next time. Bye. So the idea is to sit the front wheel over the hose and then the hose will guide where it's going to go. It will just follow wherever the hose is. And then hook the hose onto the back. There we go. I'll go and turn it on. There you go, it's a diesel waterer. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today guys, I hope you had as much fun as we did. See you next time on The Simple Joys. Bye!